Oh, is that a crappie? Is that a crappie? Surely. I think that's a crappie. Hey, this thing got big. Uh-oh. He's got, oh my gosh. Oh my it's gosh. A big one. JJ's got another one. She's got another one. Oh gosh. That's big. Whatever oh that is. That's a big that's a big donkey. Oh gosh, come here, baby. That's a crappie, isn't it? <gasps> oh yeah. Oh baby. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got a cold and honestly kind of miserably cold afternoon of fishing on our hands today, but we're out here in the creek. We're in the canoe and we got a shotgun rider up here. The slab queen's in town. Do my slab queen wave. Yeah, she's got one <laughs> glove. <laughs> but that's okay. She uses her other hand strictly yeah. for slabbing. Yeah. But we're here. We got this bucket. We're going to try to fill it up today with some big slabs. Like I said, it's really cold, but we got our ACCs. We got some double jig rigs and we are ready to start casting yeah. and hopefully slinging some slabs. It's been a minute since Jay's caught one. Yeah. When's the last well, time you caught a big crappie? Um, I don't even know. It's been like at least a month. It feels like. Cause we were in Florida for a while. Yeah. You haven't caught a while. Since it's then. been too long. Last time we went fishing together, we were white bass fishing. Yeah. So let's uh, let's not catch any white bass yeah. and let's just catch some big slabs. I didn't even catch any white bass last time. <laughs> you caught one. I got one. <laughs> Hopefully you can do better today. Yeah. We're back in J Slab Queen territory. We're hoping to find them somewhere between there and there. But anyways, like I said, we're going to get after it. Hopefully we catch some big slabs today. If y'all are excited for today's adventure, do us a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's see how many we can end up with this afternoon. Let's go. Fish uh -oh. on, fish on. Is it a crappie? Is it a crappie? He's kind of swimming weird. Did that snag something? Snagged a crappie in the mouth. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, nice. Nice one. And he's on that panorama. He's on the bigger one. <laughs> Heck yeah, there we go. Two casts in for me. And I got him on that new six cents panorama that I caught him with the other day, except for I put the bigger one on. It's not a huge bait, it's the 2.8 inch version. But honestly, it looks you know double the size of that one I was using the other day. That's sick. That's a nice one. That's a slab. Jay's got the same rig as me on. She's got the smaller panorama on because that's what I caught them all with. Oh! oh she got slammed. <laughs> that looks like a big fish. <laughs> it bit like a big fish. Is that a my crappie? Goodness. Did you snag a shad? No, this is that was definitely a crappie. Oh my gosh! Get him, JJ. I got it's this bucket. I got the one. net. I got the net. I got the net. Oh, it's stuck. Oh gosh. This is a good one. Net's stuck. This is what a you good one. You got two fish? Huh? What you got, two fish? Uh, you know, I kind of feel like I might have two what fish. What if you like hooked a crappie and then snagged a shad? Oh, it's a drum! <laughs> uh, Are you up. kidding me? Just lift them up, you're good. What? Slap queen is also the drum queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm you, can, you can eat him if you want to. Oh, he's got some little purple on him. He's pretty. Yeah, they're really pretty. The water is freezing cold, so they're kind of got some light colors. Man, I had a big crappie. Now he's got your glove all wet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, back to back to bucket business. Oh. Oh, what in the world? That's not good. Ooh. Oh, is that a crappie? Is that a crappie? Surely. I think that's a crappie. <laughs> I think that one's a crappie. I said the hook too at the same time, but Ooh. mine was not a fish. Mine was definitely a shad. Oh, he's oh, he's oh no! Is no, that a drum? Uh, are you it's another me? drum. Don't do this to me. The drum queen. Don't you dare do this to me! <laughs> <laughs> a little tiny drum. Nothing's I had the net wrong. ready. Nothing's wrong with the drum. Except for it's not a slab. It's not a slab crappie. That's what I'm coming to catch. The only thing that's wrong with the drum is that they don't taste good. <laughs> that's the only thing that's wrong with them. Yeah, but I mean, they're fun to catch. They are fun. This is not what I'm here for. There we go. Oh, he came off. No, he didn't. What? I snagged a shad. He ate it. It's in his mouth. Now my hands are all shaddy. I'm gonna wipe some of the shad slime on the bait. Give it some flavor. I should have shook him off. My hands are all nasty now. Ugh. My hands are super shaddy. Got him. That's a crappie. That's a crappie. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. There he is. There he is. <laughs> oh. He breached himself. Oh, there he is. Nice one on the crappie magnet. 
that ain't bad. We'll take it. Second crop the other day, where I landed at, I landed on top of a brush pile, I'm pretty sure, because it felt very sticky, and I was able to get my jigs off of it. I let it fall down beside it, and we got ourselves our second keeper of the day. He's in there. So that's one for the panorama and one for the crappie magnet. There's something, I think it's another shad. Actually, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a tiny crappie. Aww. Oh, it's a little tiny baby. Look at that, he's just barely skin hook right there. He's a cute little guy. Peace. There we go. I think we got another crappie. Oh, that's a nice one. Come up to the top, he's coming to the top. He's coming up. He's coming up, oh, it's a good one. It's a good one, JJ. Oh, he's on that bottom. He's on the big pinner. What oh, you got? I got something. What you got? What you got? Oh, we got I doubles. I lost it. I think I got a shad. You got a shad? <laughs> I lost it. Jay's out here catching the rough fish. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. He crushed it. Look how realistic that thing looks. It looks just like a little shad. I'm just giving it a few twitches, and I think that tail's just shaking down there. He couldn't resist it. That's a good one. I'm reeling it. What well, seems to be like super painfully slow. And uh, just the lightest little tick that he was on. Oh, there, oh, there it is. Go. There it is. What kind of drum is that? Oh, gosh. What kind of drum is that? Dang. I don't know. It's shaking its head all crazy. <laughs> is this a drum? I don't know. It's very crazy. Them drums can be a little crazy. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> It he hasn't, feel he like hasn't a, come to this. Oh my, oh gosh, my gosh, look at him. Look at the head on that me? thing. You, look at the head on that thing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Drum queen. Come on. We're going to have to make you a new logo. No, I am the slab queen. <laughs> look, get out of here. You didn't see that. <laughs> it's big and big one. Please be a crappie. I think he's a crappie, but he could be a drum. He's he's doing lots of head shakes. Oh, he's coming up. Oh, it's a crappie. What? It's a crappie, JJ. Get out of here. Get in the boat, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kind of back behind us. He might need to make a move. I've caught, I think I caught three crappie back here kind of behind us a little bit. That's a good one. And he was definitely- Good one. Yeah, they've all been good except for that little dinky I caught one a minute ago. That one was definitely near the bottom. Big boss. Be a Big boss. He looks like a crappie. Okay. Don't pull too hard. This is feeling a little bit better. Feeling better. But I'm, you know, I'm just not gonna say anything yet. Don't say nothing. <laughs> We just want to see all green back. Come on. Come on, on up. Ain't no way you got another drum. Oh, there is a way. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, gosh. That's big. Whatever oh, that is. That's a big That's a big donkey. Oh, gosh. Come here, baby. That's a crappie, isn't it? <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, my gosh. It's a beast. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Get up here. He's being crazy. <laughs> Get up there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Woo. Had to go through a couple of drum, but now you've got the biggest of the day. Oh, yeah. You had to go through a couple of drum, yeah. a little bit of hardships, and now we're on the biggest of the day. And this one was back behind us, so we might need to move back just a little bit. Yeah. It seems, it seems like that's where they're holding right now. I think it's beautiful, too. I love how yellow they get when it gets cold. And he smoked that panorama, too, didn't yes, he? Yes, that was awesome. I, I wish I had it in his mouth still. It looked so cool, but yeah. Woo! That was so much fun. Thank goodness you weren't another drum look. Look at this. Look how big he is. Jay might have flipped this boat. Yeah, he's, he's longer than the bucket is wide. Woo! We're going to have to add some more water now. Good job, Jay. <laughs> Oh, baby. What is this? It's, I don't think this is a crappie. Oh, it is. Look at him. He's wow. a speedy guy. He's a speedster. Speedster. He was running like a shad. He's been hanging out with a shad down there too long. He's starting to pick up their genetic traits. <laughs> okay, well, we actually, um, we actually moved from here. We went over and explored that way, but it was just too windy and too cold. It, it's getting colder. The high today was only like 
44, 45 degrees, I don't really remember. But um, it's significantly cooler now. Our hands are cold and we couldn't handle, we couldn't handle the wind. <laughs> we're right, weenies. Right, right here, <laughs> right here we're kind of, uh, we're kind of out of the wind a little bit. Our hands are a little numb. I guess only one of Jay's hands is numb. No, they're both numb. Oh. <laughs> I didn't have hand warmers though. She's got hand warmers. You want one? I'm okay. If we have to tie on any baits, which I'm sure we will at some point, I'll take one and thaw them out so I can okay. feel what I'm doing. And I would feel like the lightest little bite. I couldn't even tell. My pole would load up. There we go. There we go. Did it on the fall. Oh. You got one? Oh, I, I think did. You had a shed. I think I was in a tree. And this fish, this fish bit it on the fall. Just lift it up and he was there. He's kind of a speedster. I haven't seen him yet. Oh, oh, it's another crappie on the magnet. On the magnet. How are you catching more crappie than me? I don't know. I don't know. We can't, we can't, we can't do this again. No, we can't. <laughs> uh, what we're referring to is uh, the last time she and I fished together, we went below a spillway. We were actually going there crappie fishing, but all we caught was white bass. And we were literally casting the exact same spot with the exact oh, same setup. I got one. Yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> and she wasn't catching anything, but I was. That's a nice crappie right there. I already know. Yeah. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can bust them off. I'm trying to catch net. all the slabs. I'm pretty sure it's a big slab. I don't know if he's as big as my last one, but hard to say. He's gonna be a good one. Might be your biggest drum of the day. My drum. Oh, it's not a drum. He's on the panorama. Woo! Man, they're biting both these jigs equally. <laughs> it's a deadly combo. I don't know why we left this spot. Other oh, spots suck. Yeah. This one here is this is the stuff right here. Feels good to catch fish though. Look how fat his tummy is. <laughs> yeah. He's got kind a of a weird one. back too. He's got like a like a notch oh, in his yeah. back. He'll eat. He'll eat. Put him in the bucket. Jay's last fish fell victim to the baby panorama 2.0. This is the last one in that pack. Luckily I brought some more. They love this thing. I love this thing. We just love throwing new baits. We always like our tried and true. There's just baits that always work, like our crappie magnets, those always work. Arguably the baddest bait in crappie fishing. But it's always fun to show them something a little different. And that one there I rigged up as perfect as you can get <laughs> with that little morsel. Well, thank you. It's also Cole. got some slab bites in there. Got some slab bites in the jig head now. We didn't have that earlier. But we actually both have slab bites. We both started catching fish again over here. Uh-oh, 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 they're crunching it. I don't think this is a crappie, uh -oh. but I sure hope it is. <laughs> it is another one on wow. the magnet. Look at them, they're fighting weird. They're not doing that whole wallering bit. He barely hooked. Risk it for the biscuit. Oh. Oh. He's in there. He kind of side swiped it. Still this day, I don't, oh, he's, no, he's hooked inside. He was hooked inside. I'm about to say, I don't understand how a fish like, hooks right there. Another slab. The big old goofy looking slab. Woo! We got about 15 tacos in there. You gonna fish kayak tournament with me? Uh oh, oh what you gosh. get? What you get? It's a shad. You sure? What if it's not? Uh, it kind of feels like a shad. <laughs> but oh what if gosh. it's not? If it's not. Oh, it's oh, a crappie. It's a crappie. Oh my gosh. What? It is a crappie. What? You just, that was crazy. That was crazy. Let me Did run my stuff in. I thought you had a shad. <laughs> it looked like you snagged it. I know. Because you looked like you had a bite and you set the hook and missed and then you did something and I don't know, the sequence looked like you had a had a shad. I know, he was fighting so weird. But just another crappie on the panorama. I'll take it. <laughs> That's, I, I honestly consider that one a bonus. Yeah. And it Shocker. makes you think all these ones that we, you know, hooked and had come off that we said were shad, what if they were all crappie? <laughs> Slab Queen's firing up. Bill's got a little fire pile by his dock. We can... Oh, oh yeah. Jay, they're turning on. I think it's the slab bites. <laughs> hey, this thing got big. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my it's gosh. A big it's a big one. I think it's the slab bites. We weren't using slab bites when we first were over here. Oh my goodness, yeah. Cole. Yeah, that's a beluga. 
Do you need the net? I need the net. Oh you gosh. got stuck in the nuts again. Oh my god. There you go. Yeah, baby. Whoa. Is that a two pounder? Um, I don't think so. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's a stud. That's a nice one. He's close to two pounds if he ain't. That is a big one. Look at that panorama in his face. Way to go. That fish was never coming off. He was hooked so good right in the nose. Look how big he is. He could eat the screen. Uh oh. Oh, what is this? Is that coming in? Uh oh, he might got a buffalo. He's not doing anything. Uh oh, Jay's got something. Does it feel like a fish? I think it's a stick. You got a stick fish? Is he swimming? No. It's gotta be a stick. What if you got a turtle? Could be a turtle. You got one of these little poor turtles out here. Oh, I'd feel so bad. Is it swimming? You know, this is... Oh, what is that? What is that? It's a stick. It's a stick. That's a weird looking stick. That is a weird looking <laughs> stick. I almost don't like the way that thing looks. Me Get either. that thing out of here. That thing makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Why does it make you uncomfortable? I don't know. Yeah, that, that stick kind of stressed me out. <laughs> dang it. Oh, I got a fish. Not dang it. Not dang it. There's a brush pile over there. I know there's a brush pile there, and I keep thinking I'm landing on it. But the last few times I thought I was stuck in the brush pile, I was just actually stuck in a fish's face. That's another big one, Jay. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. He's on that panel. Rare boy, it's so giant. I'm going to boat flip him right Whoa. into the bucket. Yes. Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, what oh, is that? Oh, hold on to that sucker. That's another big drum. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I had two for a second. It might be, it might be a crappie. Let's see, let's see how this plays out. Over what or under. You? Oh, no, 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 I lost him. That felt weird. You were cranking on him. He broke you I off. I broke. Broke your bottom jig off. My panorama. No. This fish to come in the boat. You need to sit down. I need you to watch out. He's coming in. It's a drum <laughs> or it's a giant crappie. Look at those head shakes. This is a drum, a catfish, or a giant crappie. Which one do you want it to be? I want it to be a giant crappie, but... I do too, but... I don't know, man. If, it is a, if it's a crappie, it's a giant. Ha, 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 It's a drum, boy. My first of the day. Look the thing about you. the drums that I don't like is that they mess these baits up. Welcome to the drum side. They tear my bait up. <laughs> Make it all messed up because they didn't just come in smoothly. You're pretty. I like your blue eyes. Reminds me of Jay's blue eyes. Aww. And your happy disposition reminds me of Jay too. Look how happy he looks. <laughs> they, they don't ever look sad. They just look like little happy guys. And like he looks tasty. Like to be honest with you, this fish looks extremely scrumptious, but I just know that he's not. So we're gonna send it back. Take a look at the carnage. Yep. Yep, he did, he did me dirty. He did me dirty. We might can salvage that. I might can glue that one back together, but I'm just gonna go ahead and grab me a fresh one. I didn't feel the bite, but I've got something. It's a baby crappie. <laughs> a little black crappie, first black crappie of the day. Wind picked up again, so I had a lot of slack in my line. Cute little black crappie. I'm gonna send him back. Baby! Come on in here. Definitely a crappie. Definitely a slab. Don't know what kind of slab yet. Um, it's a 13 inch slab. I'm feeling 13 incher. Oh, it might be 14. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's on that magnet. Woo! Oh, it's 14. There we go. It's 14 and a half or probably. Maybe 14 even. Wow. Definitely not a 13 incher. Quality. The quality's here. It's all good ones. There's a lot of places we fish where we have to go through a bunch of Smaller ones get good ones, and including this place, a lot of times it's that way, but today, it's all about that quality. We've only caught two that we've had to throw back so far. And you can't be mad at those results. 
And we still got probably like an hour and a half to fish before it gets dark. So I foresee us getting close to filling that bucket up if we keep on this pace. Fish on, fish on. Oh, it's a, oh gosh, JJ, it's a big one. No. It's a big, big. No way. It's a big, big. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Cole caught another big one. Cole caught another slab. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a nice one. <laughs> no, it is a good one. It really is. It You're really on fire is. right now. I think, I think you need to sit down for a little bit. I could, but I might freeze. <laughs> Look at that. Look how yellow he is. What a monster. That is a really good one. This camera don't do him justice. Our other camera, the microphone died, so. Kind of sucks for the presentation, but we out here, we out here doing it. We filling that bucket up with some bigs. And that's just kind of the way I like it. I mean, I'm not gonna use, oh, oh, oh baby. There we oh, go. Oh, baby. There it is. Oh, there it's a donkey. Is. We put the big panorama on there. And first what fish. What do you know? I caught one. But you were catching them. I felt like you were catching them <laughs> no, good. No, I was catching them. You were catching them good. I was not good. catching them as steady as you are, but that's okay. It's better than um, not catching them. <laughs> that's the only thing about this net. This is the net. I'm not sure if y'all remember this either, but we actually found this net. Jay snagged this net out here. And it works out really great when we're in the canoe because we're so far apart. I can just reach up and just net or fish. So nice. Slab Queen's back on the board. Got another, another nice, nice one. one. <laughs> another nice one. They're all nice. They are all some big old thick slabs. They are. That is nice. You catch nothing but keepers. What's not nice is that it's starting to rain. It's Ooh, a little that chilly. That is not nice. It's not great for these hands. JJ's got another one. She's got another one. Camera's about to die. Can't she get it? Woo! We got 1% battery. 1%? Oh, man. Let's get a look at him. What do you eat? Oh, we ate the panorama. What do you think? <laughs> well, they quit biting. Yeah, they did. Like, they, completely. They legit quit biting. <sighs> it was kind of slow when we first pulled up, and then they, they kind of turned on, and we haven't really had a bite in the last 15, 20 minutes. Like, yeah. nothing. Now Not since she caught that last one. Cold. <laughs> we are frigid. My hands got all wet messing with our anchor, and the wind's blowing. That's the worst. I mean, your hands get wet, and the wind's blowing, and it's cold. But we did end up pretty well. <laughs> this isn't even all of them. This is, we just put some on here so y'all can kind of get a look at them. Those are some nice ones. That's a real nice one up top. We got two on there that are probably pretty close to two pounds. We need to weigh them. Yeah. But I mean, those are all just some straight up slabs. Plus, like, I don't know how many more in this bucket. There's probably another six or seven in the bucket. Oh, wow. I don't even know. I just, I got tired of putting them on there because <laughs> they were getting cold. <laughs> we wanted a way to carry them out and show them off. But yeah, some really nice slabs. Half of them, I'd say, came on the panorama. Half of them came on the crappie magnet. And uh, we did good. Oh, we did good for like an hour and a half of fishing. We're going to get these guys back home. We're getting cleaned up and we're going to eat them. Mm. we gotta get, we got to get warm. we got to get warmed up. we got to get warmed <laughs> up and we got to get some hot food in our bellies. Yeah. We'll see you guys when we get there. All right, we're back. We're here at the house. It's actually the next afternoon. I let the fish sit on ice overnight and we are out here ready to clean them. Take a look at all these fish, guys. This isn't even all of them. It's a good mess of them, though. We got some studs. Got them here on the cleaning board, and we've got some big donkey crappie we've got to start filleting up. Shouldn't take us too long, and it's never really a problem to have too many crappie, guys. But that looks magnificent. We're going to be using the electric Bubba fillet knife to whip through them all. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see how these fillets turn out. I'm even more excited to put some of these slabs in our belly later on. So we're going to get to cleaning. We'll see you guys when we get done. All right, we're back. We've been in here in the kitchen cooking up our catch from the day, and this is what we're left. We got a whole tray of food. We've got two different styles of fried crappie fillets. We've got some with some breadcrumbs on them. We got some that are just double dipped in flour and some seasoning. We also got the crinkle cuts. You got to have those. But we are about to do the official taste test on those slabs we caught in the creek. I think that we're gonna go in with the. I'm gonna do the breadcrumbs ones first. They're a little more crispy. They turned out crispier than the double dipped flour. See how it goes. That's good. That's real good. Hey, Snipers, you want a piece of fish? No. You want to try some fish? 
You come say hi? <gasps> oh, snap, it's the force of nature. Dude, your hair looks good today. Uh-huh. How you doing? Are you doing good? <sighs> Did Mom and Daddy catch a bunch of fish? No, I want to TV. Oh, you're been watching you're wanting to watch TV. Hey, I you want to try a piece of fish? No. Want a piece of chicken fish? No. You try just one bite? No. Oh, you just ate? What'd you eat? Oh, you ate Spider-Man mac and cheese and an avocado? <laughs> well, that's good. That's well balanced. We'll get you on the fish here pretty soon. Big yep. crappie? Yep, that's the biggest one of the day. Oh my, oh gosh. my gosh! Oh my gosh, it's a freaking monster. I'm it's a monster. Kidding. I know. Even, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a giant. Are you throwing your triple rig right now? Oh, son! Did that on the fall? Did it on the fall, dude. Oh gosh, I, I ain't making this mistake again. <laughs> I ain't making this mistake again. Oh snap, oh. right at the boat. Right at <laughs> oh, the boat. Big I think it was underneath the boat. What? Howdy guys, welcome back to the channel. Got an exciting one for y'all today. As y'all can see, I'm out here on my dock and if you look around, look at all this water. Isn't this great? Isn't this great? The last time we showed y'all the lake, it was like a nearly winter pool full of water after being like bone dry all the way out there to like those trees back there. You could walk all the way out there um, just a month ago. But with the heavy rains we've had, the lake has come up. But since then, it's receded a good bit and it's going to probably drop pretty quickly because we don't have any rain in the forecast. But it's still nice and we're trying to enjoy it while we can. And in today's video, we do just that because on the opposite end of this lake, we fished a spot. And for whatever reason, the fish have just been going absolutely crazy in this one little area. And we caught a pile of slab crappie. And when I say slabs, I'm not joking with y'all. Like, bigs <laughs> lots and lots of big ones and this video is going to cover a series of two days the first one of which is when i went out with my buddy tiger and we we stumbled on an incredible bite caught so many fish so many big ones uh, but unfortunately i lost a little bit of that footage but it's okay because we just absolutely just mauled those crappie and out here on the lake right now there's no limits there's no size limit there's no number limits you can just keep as many as you want to which is I, that blows my mind in itself just thinking about how many fish came out of that spot over the last few days but we, we, did, we did what we could. And then the next day we actually got Big Boss, AKA Jay the Slab Queen out on the boat, as well as my mother and stepfather. And we continued to catch a bunch of fish. And before we head out there to the lake, I wanna show you guys the updated crappie bundles that we have from Crappie Magnet. We're working on better packaging. You know, they just come in these Ziploc bags for now, but the new packaging will be ready soon. It's pretty much the same stuff that you had in your original bundles, um, but we've added a few new items to them. But I wanna give y'all a quick rundown of what we have available now in our crappie bundles. We're, we're, we're planning on just continually kind of mixing and matching um, as the season goes, because we tend to use different things in different parts of the season. But right now, we're offering four different colors of crappie magnets. We got the Killer Clat, we've got the Isom, We've got the show enough and we've got the black and chartreuse. So this will cover any of your clear water or your dirty water applications. Four of our most dependable colors that we use everywhere, all times of the year. And then we've thrown in a couple of different shapes that crappie magnet has to offer. We have the slab magnet. This color is called Elsie's Glow. It's kind of just like a uh, kind of like a ghost pearl blue color. It's more of that straight tail plastic. These are awesome. Been catching a ton of fish on this bait. And then we added the slab curly, a nice little curly tail grub option. We wanted this pack to have a lot of versatility and a lot of um, different options for y'all to use. And our first one, we pretty much just had tra uh, crappie magnets in there. You can see now you've got this grub, and this is show enough chartreuse. This one's a killer um, on crappie, but it catches a ton of different species. You know, white bass love it, striper love it. Been a killer. And also in this updated bundle, you're going to have three packs of the awesome eye hole jig heads. We've got uh, some 1 8 ounce pink, 16 ounce orange, and 16 ounce pink jig heads and then we've also included another color some of y'all like the chartreuse heads we got 13th ounce just double cross jigs this is a 32nd ounce so you got all three different sizes that we tend to use and then for the eye holes you know you can't have these without the slab bites to shove up inside of the eye of the jig head or to tip your jig on the hook anyways these are available on the crappie magnet website we'll have a link down in the video description every time you purchase one it really helps um, support the channel helps keep us going out here help us keep making these awesome fishing videos for y'all but without further ado let's jump out on the lake where we're going to meet up with my buddy tiger and start slaying some slabs let's go <coughs> oh baby first one of the day is a big old slab drum oh it's a crappie oh my gosh big old crappie what do you eat Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, buddy. Oh, double, double up. Oh, oh you man. Man. 
there we go first one of the day out here in the bass boat can't believe we're out here in a boat it's insane there was no way you can get a boat up in here a week and a half ago but first one's a slab white crappie bit the crappie magnet and we're gonna throw him in a live well where he belongs oh you want to leave the door open you feeling confident Are you throwing your triple rig right now? Oh, son! Not that on the fall? Bit it on the fall, dude. I think it's another big crappie. Don't be, it feels like a crappie, dude. It's a crappie or a drum. He ain't come up yet. He slammed it. Oh my gosh, look at that slab. He's on the big panorama. On the big panorama, baby. Let's go! Hey, what's wrong with that? He's really not much bigger than the last one, but he was all the way down there on the bottom, bit it on the fall. That's a nice one. Panorama on the fall, the 2.8. That fish bit that thing right there. I love this bait. It's so much fun to throw. I got it on the eye hole 16th ounce, shoved it with some slide bites. And I lift it up. He bit, I think he bit it on the lift, but he was on it on the fall. All the way at the end of my cast. Boom! Got him. Looks like another decent crappie, dude. Get up here. Get up here. What you buy? Oh, you know what he bit. You know what he bit. Big panorama. Fish number three. That's two on the panorama and one on the crappie magnet so far. I think they're seeing this panorama a little bit better because it is murky water and it's just that straight white. Kind of got that yellow tail too. Tiger, that's three to zero. Oh. Three to zero. There's the thing though, you gotta be where nobody's at. Everybody's over there. Oh, snap. Crazy thing is that there's no limits. <laughs> there's no limits. No size limit, no number limit. Really, I was thinking about it and looking at some of the videos. Around this time, it's kind of when the bite starts to die out here. There's another one. Another big one. Another big one. They're all good. That thing feels really nice. Oh, he's on the top, G. He's on the crappie magnet. On the crappie magnet. Dang, it's a nice fish. Boat flip buggy. Yes, sir. He's got some thickness to him. He's got them thick slabs, baby. That's a nice one. Tiger said leave the lid open. He was right. Leave it open, just throw him in there. Pull and drag. Oh, Tiger. First crappie? Oh my gosh, what are we doing? Yeah. What are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I, I decided, you know, only littlest crappie of the day, what the biggest bait I have. Nice, a little black crappie. Only up from there. Oh. Uh oh, what's that? That's a keeper. Is that a better one? Yeah. You think it's a crappie? Oh my gosh, tiger. That's a stud. Holy mackerel. Oh, I almost have one too. Dude, that's that thing two pounds. Soon, catch the one. Is that a two pounder? You wanna weigh him? Let's weigh him. Let's weigh him while he's fresh. I think it is. Dude, hold that sucker up. That's a giant. You think he's two? I don't think he's two. I think he's one and three quarter. On Why? Oh, under the boat. A little tiny guy. Little tiny guy, I caught one tiger size. Oh, he ate the he ate the big he ate the same thing as you. I know. Get the biggest bait on the on the rig. Little Swan's got the biggest size. <laughs> He's got he got a little belly on him. Look at that. He ain't got that catfish belly on him though. That's that's he next level. No new plant special. No. Oh gosh. That was a nice bite. Is that a crappy? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You want the net net? You got a seven foot medium. You can vote for Oh, he's on the mermaid. <laughs> I was just talking to Trash about it. 
So Tiger's last two big crappie came on a crappie magnet. The last first one came on monkey milk. That one came on mermaid. mermaid. That was our secret color out here last year. Everybody was throwing shad colors. So we swapped it for the mermaid and we were smoking them. Really good one. And now we got some people pressure out here. Tiger's like, let's do the mermaid again. I was like, yeah, do it. <laughs> also the water's kind of murky. So it's pretty good color for murky water. I think we can even do better on color though. The water is stained. I bet there's a color to bite even better than the ones we're throwing, but the action's been pretty good to us so far. This slows down. We'll start playing around. With some yeah, we'll play around. And he's got the triple rig, so he already is playing around. I'm doing a double rig on this pole, but I ain't scared to bust out my triple rig rod. I've got one rigged up. <laughs> Tiger, oh. what are you doing? Oh. I don't think he's as big. Hey, but how big though? He's not that bad. Oh, he ain't a keeper. Yeah, he is. Ain't no limits. <laughs> you going back though? We're going for bigger than that. We're today. going bigger than that. A little black crappie. That power finesse by. Yeah, I'm just trying to get through this wind right now. Oh, baby. That's one way to get through it. That's how you do it right there. It's just about casting around. Oh, gosh. She's on that top crappie magnet. Just casting around. These fish are swimming around in circles. And they are fired up. That's a slab. That's a slab. Get in this boat. Nice slab crappie. I mean, that's what we love. Oh, I thought you had one. I thought I had a brush pile. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh man, making that bass rod squeal. Oh, it's a big one. On the mermaid, dude, they're on the mermaid. We were doubting the mermaid for a minute. We didn't know if it was going to work or not, but it's killing them. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's awesome. That's good one. Another solid one. I'm going to cast behind over here. Yeah. You're on the right side a little bit. Oh. I was telling Tiger that I feel like the zone is like right there. That's where it has been the last few times I've been over here. And I kind of got the boat in the wrong location. And Tiger's been catching pretty good up here on this right side. There's not anything over, there's not like a, there's not any brush. It's just a little bit deeper right there. Oh, oh dang it. We guess? almost, yeah, we almost oh, doubled. And if it's on mermaid, if it's on mermaid, it's a sign. No. That's not a mermaid. No, it's on the big one on the bottom. Oh gosh, he's on the slab magnet. He's on the slab magnet. Yes, sir. Barely got him over the ridge of the boat. Cole got off to that hot start and then I yep. was, I let him. I let him get that head start to feel good about himself, and then I was. I was just gonna come in there. Yeah, yeah. Ty Tiger is that silent killer. <laughs> He'll humble you. Here's the problem. I'm double duty and fisherman and cameraman. So like, when he catches one, I have to stop fishing and, and turn the camera on him. <laughs> Tiger never brings his own cameras. Put one jig like. That was a light bite. Is it big? It's pretty good. Oh, it's nice. Oh, and the mermaid. Dude, triple jig is hammering them. That's actually what the swap was. You swapped from throwing a double jig to a triple jig, mm -hmm. and that's what happened. And we had this happen last year. Yep. Last year, I, I put the triple jig on and started smoking them. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on. Yep. We're going to have to make that swap. That <laughs> well is already getting full. That was, that was a light bite. Like, I really thought I was snagged into a shad or something. It was so light. He thought he was snagged, and that started swimming. It started swimming hard. I'm going to do one more cast of this, and I'm going to do my triple. Put some, get some mermaid love on here. <laughs> I saw that. Hammering them. Tiger the hammer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's how you do it. Tiger the hammer. You know, one of the cool things about today so far is with this triple rig, I mean, I've caught them equally on all of them. You like have. It's not been just bottom, just top. Yeah, and it's you're creeping, and you're creeping by catching like three times more than me. I, I look like I got that good lead to start things off with. Okay, swap things up. We got a triple rig. Got the mermaid on the bottom. I got a six cents um, clobber minnow in the middle, and I've got a panorama on top. That's what I'm starting with on this rig. Might change it up. Throw some more crappie magnets on there. Also, I'm feeling better about this pole. My other reel had a knot down in the braid, but I didn't want to cut it off because that was going to make me lose a lot of line. This is just straight 
um, four pound crappie magnet line. So we'll extra finesse them out here. I rigged this one up. Oh. First cast with a triple rig. Oh gosh. Is that him way out there? No. Nope. Okay. That's something else. What do you eat? Why's my drag so loose? Which one do you eat? No way. <laughs> no way. Okay, that solves the mermaid thing. I put the mermaid on the bottom jig. <laughs> oh gosh, he thumped the crap out of it. Mermaid on the bottom jig. Tiger's got mermaid on top. It doesn't matter where the mermaid is. The slabs are going to find it. You snag your crappie in the mouth? I think I did. Oh, you I did? A big <laughs> in the mouth. You thought you were snagged. I know you did. Cole saw me. I was just going to reel it up. You thought that you were snagged up. Get that thing. All good ones. Oh, I just had a nibble. I'm in awkward. I'm not stopping reeling <laughs> for you this good. time. I don't know how the angle was like just then, but we'll assume we got it. So I'm That's not that fun. Pretty on camera there it is. There it is. There it is. We almost did. We almost. He ate the middle. Oh. He ate the six cents uh, clopper minnow. I'm telling you, they're not picky right now. They're not picky. You don't need no secret bait. I'm trying to figure out what the secret bait is, and there's just no secret right now. I like that bait. They look at the tail. Look how it just quivers. I love to shake it when I'm reeling it in. So I know that thing had some good action. Boom. Oh gosh, dang it. That's, that's a good. That's they're all good. No, that one's a better than good one. How, like a really good one? That one might be a two. Don't lie. Our scale's broke, so we can't weigh him. Dude, that one might be a two. All oh, I'm saying. Two pound Where's drum? If I need it? Oh gosh, he wants the net. I'm getting it. <laughs> he wanted the net, so I got it anyway. I almost jumped in the lake. <laughs> Color. Got that mermaid. No way. No way. No way. Four. Got that mermaid. I tell you, y'all want that secret for today? It's just dragging it as slow as you can on that bottom. Just gotta drag it. Double the mermaid again. Ow! Keep going, water. Yeah, baby. Tiger's got one on the deck. I got one attached to my jig. I got two attached to the jig. He started off small, to be honest. Now he's kind of feeling a little bit bigger. This rod's a little bit lighter. Oh gosh, look at that one, Gina. Get him. I'm scared to flip him. Oh, I'm scared. That four time on. Dang it. I shouldn't have done that. No. I got straight four pound test. I should have netted him. He was a big one. That was my biggest of the day. And that was right there. <laughs> Tiger talked me into it. No, Don't I listen didn't. to Tiger. Yeah, you did. <laughs> How big is that one? Oh, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. What kind of keeper? Like a slab? Uh, White bass? Oh, he bought the mermaid. That's a big one. Dang, oh, oh no. Oh yeah. Dang, you need the big rod to handle these fish today. Yeah. Swap to that mermaid on the bottom. <laughs> Second cast. Good one. Oh snap, right at the boat. It's a different feeling on this pole. This is So this is the six foot one piece ACC. And I've got straight four pound. Oh gosh, I, I ain't making this mistake again. I ain't making this mistake again. Ah, gotta be dramatic with it. Hashtag mermaid. <laughs> There's another nice slab. It's been a minute since I caught one. I've been having to, I had to retie a little bit earlier because I lost my last set on that one I tried to boat flip. We're tired guys, I'll still be trying to come out here to maximize on it. Didn't even feel that bite. I'm feeling optimistic. Oh, oh gosh, top jigger. On the top jig. What is that? Oh, it's my, it's my panorama. Hit the little panorama on the top. I was about to take you off. Now you earned yourself about five more casts. Like literally, had I not caught a fish on that cast, I was gonna take it off and put something else on. A little little uh, pro blue color panorama. That's a nice one. I mean, it's like, these are big fish. I don't know if y'all realize how big these fish are. This is the average. This is the average. I think he's 13 inches. Get some perspective here. He's 12 and a half. 12 and a half inch, and that's the average. We've caught a few that are probably 14. One that's maybe 15. 
It's nice. And we just been in this one spot. I really hate that I lost the second half of that entire day with fishing with Tiger um, because we almost filled up the entire two sides of the live well with crappie. We ended up taking home 76 slab crappie, which is normally 16 over the two man limit. But like I said, no limits, no rules. And we were taking advantage of that while the biting, while the bite was good, while the getting was good. And it was awesome to be able to get the bass boat in there. Like, I hadn't been able to get the bass boat in that spot at all this year. We'd just been taking canoes and kayaks and just dragging them in. And it's been, it's been tough to kind of get up in there. Um, so it was really cool to get the big boat out and fill the live well up with those fish. Um, here's a picture of the spread of fish. It's crazy. They were all big. Like the average size was, six, was 13 inches. And I think that uh, it was an estimated like 95 pounds of crappie, you know, not, not filleted out. So that was, that was intense. Um, so now we're going to jump into day two. This is a few days later uh, fishing with uh, Jay and my family. It was in the rain. It was a little bit cold, a little bit different conditions, a little bit tougher bite, but we still got on a nice pile of fish. Oh! Yep. Uh oh. There it is. Uh oh. What you got, JJ? Uh, is that a slab? A, smaller. a baby slab. Starting off with a little baby slab. Just turn the camera. I've been out here for a little bit, kind of testing the waters. We found a few slabs stacked up. We got a good little mess in the live well. This one is going back in the He ain't going to make the cut. That's a little <laughs> baby deep. guy. But we're out here on the boat. Got my stepdad Nick out here. What's up? We got my mom out here, OG Slab Queen. I'll show you guys what we got in the live well. We've already been cooking up. I'm be kind of mad that we ain't already been filming all this, but look at here. We got ourselves a nice little mess of crappie. They are grumpy. Most of these are running about 12 inches. Just solid white crappie. My mom also caught a big old catfish. I think it's in here. Is it on the other side? Oh, it's now he got his own side. Look at here. My mom caught this big old catfish. That was fun. Did you like catching that? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. That's like the first catfish <laughs> we caught out of here. He's like about three pounds or so. We've been doing a lot of damage on much different things. I think one of the most productive baits today has been the six cents panorama. This is the 2.8 inch version. We caught a bunch on this. We caught a bunch on some crappie magnets as always. But we're gonna bring y'all along for the next little bit. We're gonna be out here fishing for a while. See if we can't get on some more. We've only been fishing for a couple hours, but the wind and rain have kind of died down. Let's see what we can get. I'm, look, I'm wanting two pounder today. Yeah, it's me too. Big old two pound slab would do my heart good. I just retied. We're throwing triple jigs. So you got one, two, three. Give them a whole smorgasbord of options, covering different levels of the water column and losing three times as many jigs, <laughs> but also maybe catching three times as many, as many fish. Jay's currently got me blocked, but that's okay. Sorry. I'll cast over here. So there's brush piles all over the place out here. We kind of got a little line right here in front of us so there's not that many brush piles and we're kind of reeling our bait past it. But we're definitely covering some water because all four of us have three jigs on. It's kind of <laughs> like we're, we're like our own spider rig <laughs> without getting the trolling motor involved. Oh snap. Oh snap, oh. right at the boat. <laughs> Right yeah, at the boat. Big one. I think it was underneath the boat. What? I got one too. Oh, I missed. Let me see that thing. That is awesome. There you go. Nick one. I told you I was going to snag one. Oh gosh. Oh, gosh. What he eat? That is a big one. We get that ACC crappie snack. See, we, we're getting all sorts of options today. Oh. There you go. There we go. Sir Nick lost on the board with the big one. There we go. And you see, we got a crappie magnet. We got a got a panorama and a crappie snack. We ain't playing around. We're giving them all the baits today. All of them. Nick caught that one on this bait right here. It's the crappie snacks, the club. I really like this bait. I don't give it enough love, but you can see we're running out on the package. But you see, it's got that little bulbous little wiggly tail. That thing really wiggles and waggles down there. And what I like about it, it's like bringing it up on the bottom jig because it kind of like neutralizes and well, just kind of stabilizes the whole, the whole rig. I always like to have a bigger bait down there which is what I've been doing with this panorama. This one here is actually a little tore up, but the thing about the panorama is that it catches a little bit of wind whenever you're casting and it can kind of get your, you know, you can't really have as much control where it's going, especially in the wind. Just when we got four people on the boat. So I'm gonna swap it out for this guy. I might put that guy back on a little bit. Like I said, we caught a bunch of that bait today. But we're just continually trying to show these fish something different. Cast after cast. There's, it seems like there's a bunch down there, but you just gotta entice them to bite. 
Got that grub right there. Got the mermaid cropping magnet on there. Oh, big boss just swung and missed on something. Yeah, you, see, you can cast that thing way further. Did y'all see how I got that swapped up and got bit? Got bit first cast. Every time he's, every time I swap it up, I went like 10 minutes without getting a bite. Swapped it up. I think he's on that, that crappie snacks down there on the bottom. Look at that. He sure is. I literally just swapped that up. Nick caught one on it. I put one on. It happens every time out here. It's like they see our baits come over their head, cast after cast after cast. And then they see something new, like, ooh, what's that? It's another, like, 12-incher. Uh-oh, Nick done snagged him one. <laughs> I told you I was going to snag one. Snagged him in the mouth, it looks like. Is that a catfish? No. What is that? Yeah. He snagged a shad in the head. <laughs> oh, no, he ate the panorama. He's cannibal. Dang. If the catfish were biting really good, we'd save them and use it for bait. But I went down to one of my catfish hunting holes yesterday. I didn't catch nothing. So we're throwing the shad back today. They're getting lucky. I'm six foot nine. <gasps> what? That's a big one. Big crappie? Yeah. Big yep. crappie? Yep, that's the biggest one of the day. Oh my, oh gosh. my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's a freaking monster. I'm it's not a monster. Even kidding. I know. I'm not even, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a giant. Oh. That's a giant. That's a wire. That's two pounder. Oh my gosh. Don't lose it. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. I'm Don't panic. Oh Don't panic, it's two pounder. It's freaking huge! It's a two pounder. Oh my god! And he's in the net. Yes! <laughs> uh oh, we got doubles. Oh man. Chase freaking out. Oh, let's see that fish mom's caught too, real quick. Gotta, show, gotta spread the love. <laughs> I don't think we can compare mine to Jay's. Hey, he bit the slab magnet. So you hey, guys, we're catching on everything. But Jay's got a monster. What in the world? Yeah, y'all yeah, stand oh right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look, he could fit inside of my crappie. He's probably, she's probably got one in her. I've got to do better. Put it in there. Oh yeah. Usually put him in head first, but. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, that one there's dang. probably, I bet that one's two and a quarter. That is oh my so God, cool. gets to live day. Oh my gosh, I almost passed out. You want to you wanna wait? I saw him, I was really like, big. <laughs> That's the biggest of the day. Yes. I told you when I said the hook, biggest of the day. <laughs> So far. Oh. All right, guys, 2.18 on that slab daddy right yeah. there. Is it your first two pounder of the year out right here? It is my first two pounder of the year. That is a donkey. Is, oh my gosh, that was so fun. <laughs> he literally, when I saw him come up on the water, I thought he was like a three pounder. I thought you were going to have <laughs> a panic was, attack. I was about to. That is a big my one. My heart is still racing. <laughs> Can you catch one like that? I'm going to. I'm going to. Mine's yeah, next. she's next. I have the. I have two guys today. My line's wrapped around the tip. You hit it so hard. Fire uh oh, up. fired up. Jay caught that two pounder and got him fired up. Let's go. My line is wrapped around the tip of my pole oh, right now. One. My line is wrapped around the tip of my pole. Oh snap! I feel like I'm gonna lose him. I can barely reel it. Now this one here is half the size that Jay caught. And I'd still call this one a slab. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a slab. He's got them thick slabs. And he bit the bottom jig. The crappie snacks. It's an eighth ounce, eighth ounce eye hole. Slab bites in there. Let Nick let Nick do what he wants to with that. Now, that's my first fish in a minute. I had to retie my leader. I had to retie my mom's leader. <laughs> Had to get me a drink. Jay bought me. Jay brought some coffee. It's getting kind of rained in. It's a little, little slushy in there now. But mm. you know, we'll sip. <sighs> Tastes like water and whipped cream mixed together. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> I think I feel like what hummingbirds feel like when they drink from a nice flower. What is that? That's crap. A vegan? I don't think so. <laughs> Nothing like the last one. Oh, a little baby slab. A little baby slab on the mermaid. Ooh. Mermaid magic. You gotta get back. We gotta get back to slab. We might have to make a move. We've been fishing here for a long yeah. time. And it's just been kind of slow and steady all morning. We have like little flurries. We'll catch a few here a few here, and a few there, but it's kind of slowed down. Might need to make a money move. All right. Oh, Spot shit. change, baby! Big old slab! Ain't no shad over here. Nothing but slabs. Ooh. Oh yeah. 
Ooh, I ain't caught one in 30 minutes. That feels good. I, I don't even know what to do anymore. Yup. Oh, Literally made a spot change. That's how it is in this place. You either change lures or you change spots. And usually you catch one that first cast. Hopefully the more that came from. Oh, it's swimming. Oh gosh, what the heck is this? Is that a turtle? Oh God, that's really big. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Colin Jay and we are back out here in the canoe. We're out here in this creek and we're about to go try to do some slab slaying. Uh, the slab queen caught a bunch of crappie last time we were out here and she's been begging ever since to get back out here yeah, and try to catch some more. we're not going to have it for much longer. Like this is the last year we're going to have it yeah, and for a long time. So that's a very valid point. you can get it. <laughs> yeah, that's a very valid point and the fish are biting pretty good. The only thing is that we have some not so favorable, favorable crappie fishing conditions today. We're over here in the shade line right now, but we're about to go back out that way towards the back of the creek and it is bluebird skies and sunny. And it's only going to get sunnier as the afternoon progresses. And normally out here the fishing isn't as good when it is super sunny. Um, we like to be out here in the morning or the afternoon, but it just didn't work out to where we could fish either one of those time frames. But we're out here and we're going to try to see what we can get into. Um, we're going to be throwing the crappie magnets where we got our, our crappie magnet kits um, from crappie magnet in the boat today and hopefully we'll be able to catch some good ones on that today so guys if y'all are excited to tune in today's adventure do us a huge favor hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and let's see if we can get some big old slabs in this canoe today let's go We just made it over here where we're going to start fishing at. Real quick, I'm going to go over some of the things you can find in our crappie magnet bundles. Um, I got it all spread out here on this seat. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six different colors of crappie magnets. We've got some for some dark murky water. Then we've got some, you know, some shad patterns right here. These are a couple of our favorites. The killer clat, the show enough. And when you get some really dirty water, we've got these two right here. We got the glow pop. We got the isom. Just a bunch of different options. You'll also find a couple of different sizes of the eye hole jigs. We've got 16th ounce pink, we've got 16th ounce orange, and we've also got 32nd ounce orange and 32nd ounce pink. And then you're gonna find a pack of some easy floats if you need to throw a bobber on there. And then the secret juice, it comes with the slab bites. These you can pair up with the eye hole jig heads. You actually insert the slab bite into the hole inside the head of the jig head. You can also tip the hook and just give your bait a little bit of additional scent that drives the slabs wild. So if y'all would like to check out our crappie magnet bundles, we'll have it linked in the video description. Um, when you purchase these, it helps support the channel, helps keep us out here creating crappie fishing videos for you guys. And obviously, as y'all have seen, we're, we're smoking fish on this stuff all the time. So check them out, link in bio. Let's get back over here and start catching some slabs. Fish on, digging, digging, digging. First one of the day. That's a good slab right there. He's rolling on the top. Come on in here. Come on in here. That's a big one, JJ. Yes, sir. There we go. First slab of the day is a slab. <laughs> That's a really nice crappie to get things going. Caught him on the Killer Clack colored crappie magnet. Got the 132nd ounce orange head. I got the jig head infused with some slab bites and he was just all about it. That's a stud. We're out here fishing in the middle of the day, which isn't the best for crappie fishing, especially when it's high skies and sunny like this, but we're making it work. This crappie obviously didn't get the memo that it's not a great time to eat a jig, but he had that crappie magnet come right by his face and he was all about it. Number one, let's get him strung up. Let's get him tied up. Let's catch another one. Oh, big one. Big one. Oh, right, you got a big, oh, it's a big old crappie. Oh my you snagged a big old crappie in the mouth is what you did. Jeez, JJ. Yeah, I guess he's got snagged in the mouth. 
Let me bring him to this mitt. Oh, baby. oh yes. Hey. That's a stud. Uh-oh, Jay the Slab Queen is on the board with their first slab of the day. Yes, yeah, this is a nice one. This is a dang good slab, and I am just pumped now. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, It's been a little bit slow. We've only had two bites from crappie so far. We've each caught a yellow bass and a little bluegill, but hopefully we'll find a spot and uh, they'll turn on. We actually just moved up here to this little zone, and she caught that one on the first cast, but a big, beautiful white crappie. We're going to put them on the stringer with the other one. I think we're going to get more, for uh, yeah, sure. I think so. <laughs> No way. Jay's hooked him again. Next cast. Next cast. Get him, JJ. Flip him in the boat. Woo. Oh, that's a fatty. Jeez. Couldn't even get situated. I'm still like in the bottom of the boat. <laughs> yeah, that was my very next cast. Look at that. Just as slabby as the last one. Maybe I found me a secret spot. You might have. <laughs> that's a good one, JJ. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. Look at the shoulders. Beautiful big white crappie. I guess I'll put him on the stringer too. I had just literally tied the knot. We need a bucket. We do need a bucket. We need to get back to our old bucket ways. Makes things a lot easier. Nice fish. Fish on. Tied up with the slab queen if I can land it. Feels like a good one. Feels like a really nice one. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. We got a Meg on there. Get the net, JJ. Get the net, JJ. Uh, uh. I was about to just flip him. I was like, let's just see. I was like, let's just see how this plays out. There we go. Another nice slab crappie. We've got four really good ones. They're all about the same size, probably in that like 12, 12 and a half inch range. And he just gobbled up that crappie magnet right there. Bottom jig. That's a good one. Let's get him on the stringer and get back in there. There must be a school of fish right here because that's three in like two minutes right here. Oh yeah. Good ones. That's four good slabs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He got a jumper. He did not bite like a crappie. He bit just like a yellow bass. Now we got five good crappie. Five good crappie right there, guys. Look at that. That's our smallest of the day, and he's still good sized. Beautiful slab. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. You got him? Is that a crappie? Oh, flipping, 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 flipping. Yes, sir. He bit right by the boat. Ooh. That fish thumped it so hard, I was like in shock. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he took off running. I didn't know if he had a white bass or if he hooked a big yellow bass, but no, it's another good slab. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a really nice one. I think oh that's number gosh. six. Heck yeah. Number six. Three for me and three for you. Tied up. I'll catch one on that test. what I say it's big too it's a big boy probably I might have two on there if that's even possible it is possible oh gosh oh gosh where's my net girl at where's my net girl at there it is oh yeah that was than last time. that's biggest of the day for me at least Woo. thick belly I think that's my biggest of the day. He's really not much longer, but he's just a little bit thicker, a little bit more of a bigger bellied fish. That's awesome. And he is, that's another one on the bottom jig for me. I think I've caught all my fish today on the bottom jig. I'm not sure if it's a color thing or if it's just a bottom jig thing. Um, this is the killer clat up there. I've shown enough. This one has an orange jig head. Um, I need to refill him up with some slab bites, but he smoked it. That was awesome. He felt so good. He bit at the very end of my cast. And I told Jay after I made that cast that I was feeling lucky. I felt like I was going to catch one. <laughs> Showing up, he busted it. Showing up. That's a good one. I think it's our seventh one. Man, these are good slabs. Heck these yeah. are really good slabs. <laughs> oh, he's by the bank. He's by the bank. That'll keep. There we go. That's 
That's the smallest one. That's the smallest one. He's still a keeper. I guess they're all keepers, but he's a he's a real life keeper. Nice. I'll take it. They're right next to the bank. It's only like a foot deep over there. I was kind of burning it in a little bit faster, and he was all about it. Oh, Jay's going to get her a piece of it. Might put the bobber on, throw it at the bank a little bit. Stringer check, stringer check, stringer check. Ooh. It's a good miss. Yep. Smells like a good spot. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is a big one. Look at the swirl on that thing. Is that a drum or a crappie? Big old crappie. Here's a net. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's a big one. Look at that. That is definitely the biggest of the day. Yep. All our other ones are probably like that 12 inch size and here's probably a 13. We'll measure when we get back. We have a bump board in the truck. We should have brought it with us, but that is a beautiful crappie, yeah. JJ. We, we were just, just we were, moved spots. Yeah, we were moving to a new area because our, our other one kind of fizzled out and we both at the same time, you know, like you can smell fish in the water yes. and it smelled very fishy right here. We're like, it's like yeah. the best smell in the world. Like, yep. <laughs> this is where we're going to fish at. And uh, that was your first, first cast. First cast. It. It's a stud. <laughs> Huge slab. Heck yeah. Oh, it's swimming. Oh gosh, what the heck is this? Is that a turtle? You got a catfish? I think I got a catfish or something. It's big. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh god. That's really big. That's really big. <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, I thought I had a brush pile. I hope he ate it. I don't think he ate it though. I don't even know what the heck this is. Yeah, it's really big. <laughs> I think I have four pound test on this. It's either four or six. That's so big. I need to pull this anchor up. What do you need to get it? Might be like a giant flathead. That's what I was thinking. Is he swimming? He's just he's just sitting on the bottom right now. You might have a flathead. I don't know what I'm gonna do though. This is not the rig you want to have a flathead on, exactly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know, can you? I mean, he's taking me, he's trying to get me. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I know, he's like so far away though, and there's brush piles everywhere. Can you, can you get that? Try to get that. Jay's gonna try to pull the anchor up. We're gonna try to have, we're gonna try to pull ourselves to this fish. Okay, big boss. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Uh, other side, other side, other side, other side, Jay, other side. I'm over there. Okay, Jay's paddling us over here towards this fish. Ain't no way. Yep, just keep paddling. He's swimming a little bit. He's swimming right. He's swimming left to right. I'm just sitting here. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Other side, other side, other side, other side. Other side. I think I see my leader. Okay, I see my leader. Hey, stop, 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 stop. He's just sitting there. Oh gosh, there he goes. Oh my goodness. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. What in the world? <laughs> I do not want him going over there. He's really going to mess us up over there. Do you want me to paddle anymore? Or? I think he's got us. He's just pulling us around? He's just pulling us around. Taking us on a sleigh ride? Yeah, maybe he'll get tired. Surely. I mean, he's so big. I mean, I'm using five pound braid and either four or six pound leader. I'm not exactly sure. But he is taking us on a ride. Like the, the leader knot's right there. My leader is only like five foot long, so we should be able to see him. 
here soon if he comes to the surface, but he's definitely snagged, I think, in the tail. But he feels humongous. And this is a lighter action rod, but he feels humongous. Like, I'm scared if he breaks me off that I'm going to, like, fall backwards and flip this thing. Oh, gosh, don't do that. <laughs> but I don't know how we're going to land him. We got the net, but he's definitely bigger than the net. But like I said, it's only four-pound test. But there's the knot. You see it? I didn't see it. Oh, I'll I see it. it. Right I see there. it. Come on, fish. What are you? I don't, and I'm using, you know, these are just small 32nd ounce jig heads, so I don't know. They're really strong jig heads, but I mean, with the fish, how big this thing is, it's gotta be a, it's gotta be a flathead. It's gotta be a flathead. He just seems like he's fighting like a flathead. I know, he's just down I mean, there. I'm not feeling it, but just the way it's I'm so seeing big. it. It's so big. It's so big. I'll do that. <laughs> oh gosh, don't break it. I keep seeing some bubbles. Oh my gosh. 15 pound bass. What is it? 15 pound bass. Oh, there's a fish on the top jig too. There's oh crap. There's literally a fish on the top jig. There's a yellow bass on the top jig. Oh my gosh, he's pulling us. He is pulling us. Look at the wake. I shouldn't be doing this. I'm trying to apply some pressure to him. I'm trying to keep him off the bottom. There's so many brush piles. Ooh, I'm getting so nervous. I know, let me see you. Come on, fish. I don't want to put too much heat on him, but I just, you can't let him get down to the bottom. It's too snaggy. If he does what he wants to do, then we're done. Oh, crap. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. No. No, Come no, no, up. no, no. Come back up. Come back up. Come on, fish. Let me see your tail. Just let me see your tail. <laughs> oh. He's got to be hooked pretty good. I was hoping he had both hooks. Oh gosh, see that brush pot sticking up right there? Oh shoot. That's not what we want. Oh, see that fish? So I, got a, I got a stupid yellow bass on the top hook. <laughs> oh shoot, he's heading for the brush pile. Oh my gosh. Nope. Oh, no. No. Dang it. No. Ah, I'll keep him out of the brush pile. Dang. No. Didn't bend the hook out or nothing. Dang it. No slime? No slime or nothing. Hmm. Like nothing. No flesh, no nothing. No bent out hook. See a, see a stick right here? Yep. Now That's we a, were way over there. It's a huge brush pile. <laughs> when, we, when you hooked into him. Oh, Dang. we were so close. I'm sorry. I know that hurts pulled a little too hard I think I just didn't want him to go into it since it's, it's a huge brush pile oh oh well I don't know what it was I, don't, I really don't know I have no idea there's no slime on the line so I don't know I think it was hooked in the tail but it felt like it was hooked in the tail it was either like a big buffalo could have been a catfish I mean it made some serious runs but I felt like it was pulling me around like a buffalo honestly but Never know. Oh. <laughs> I should have stood up so I could see him a little better. All right, well, let's get back to catch some slabs. <laughs> Dang. No, man. What do you see? I don't see anything. Oh, okay. My line's just like stuck. Can you grab the end of it? Looks like you're pretty close. You caught a net. <laughs> I thought you were I thought you were snagged. <laughs> I caught a net. Hey, that's a pretty there. That's a pretty nice net. That's actually a really nice net. That was strange. Huh, well the net was stuck in a brush pile. I could feel it down there. But you legit <laughs> just caught ourselves a new net. Oh yeah. Nice one. That's a nice net. That's like catch of the day right there. <laughs> Stinky though. Maybe not. Oh, that's a big one. Okay. Pin here. Let's go. We haven't had a bite in a while. I haven't had a bite since I lost that giant mystery fish. Um, and I was just thinking about changing up colors. 
which I still might do. I might put the mermaid color on the top one. That's always a good one out here. And I mean, especially considering most of my fish are coming on this bottom jig. That's a good slab. That might be my biggest of the day. I'm not sure. I've caught a couple about this same size, but just a quality fish overall. We just don't know where those like mega daddy slabs are at. Like we catch, we've caught a lot of, you know, two pound plus size fish out here. Um, and we just haven't seen any of that yet. We've caught, you know, a, a good many fish out here already this year, but none of them have eclipsed that two pound mark. And they've literally all looked just like this, which is solid. And I'm not complaining about it at all. So I am going to make the color change. I'm going to set this one over here. We decided to put it back on, but we're going to swap to this color right here. This is called Mermaid. Just this nice green and light blue fleck laminate color. I've caught a bazillion fish on this thing. Let's see if it works today. The water's honestly pretty stained out here too, so that might show up. It's not really a true chartreuse, but it's just kind of a kind of a mermaid green. It's a pretty jig. I bet the next fish I catch comes on that thing. Okay, so we're also going to do a little experiment. We're gonna put one slab bite on this top jig up here, since most of our fish are coming on that bottom jig, and see if that will help get one to bite that top jig. We got a new color, we got the slab bite inside the jig head, we've also got it on the hook. That should be smelly down there for a big old slab. Oh, got a little something. Uh oh, what is that, bluegill? Bluegill ate the slab bite. <laughs> well, he wanted that top jig. If he's a little bigger, we put him on the stringer. He was all about that little slab bite on there. Oh, I saw that. That's a good one. I'm gonna use your new net. I'm gonna use your new net. Get that, oh gosh. Need that reach. Hey, <laughs> used your new net. Yo, I like that new net. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's nice. And that's a really nice fish. Oh my goodness. And the bite has definitely slowed down. We're out here in the heat of the day. And normally when you have these bright bluebird sky conditions, the best time to be out here is morning and afternoon. But we're grinding it out. We're making it work and we're, we're getting some good We're still getting slabs. some in the boat, yeah. We got a good mess on the stringer. <laughs> and we got and plenty of time a, to fill it up. That was a dang good bite. I saw it too. He I love it. fishing with these double jigs just because of the thump. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the best thing ever. It's like <laughs> That's a big one. Get your heart going. <laughs> big boy. Big boy. Big thick boy. Whoa. Got him. That one was weird. I felt the bite, but then I didn't feel anything else. It was like he just threw a bunch of slack in it, and then I felt him again, just kind of swimming with us. He was just he was just chewing on that thing. He was probably soaking up the flavor of that slab bite. He was on that bottom jig, really getting all of our bites on our bottom jigs, it seems like. I mean, I would say 90% of our fish we've caught today have been on the bottom jig, and I'm really not sure why. Oh snap. Oh snap. Is that a drum? I think that's a crappie. I got your new net. I got your new net. Bring him this way. Nice. Okay, he's not as big as I thought he was. But he's still whoa. big. He's still a good one. But I thought he was like massive. <laughs> like my PB. Oh gosh. Whoa. That's another good one, JJ. Yeah, I honestly think I was hung up a little bit. Maybe he got me unhung because he felt heavy. Yeah, it must, must, I mean, there's a lot of brush piles in this one little area right here, so we were thinking that this would be a good spot to try out, and that was your first or second cast yeah. out there, right? Yeah. Every time, we, every time we make a move, we get some fish. <laughs> Our last couple spots have been kind of stale, so yeah. maybe this will be the one. They're all big white crappie out here. Mm-hmm. Awesome. All right, guys, so we just got off the water. Uh, the bite pretty much died on us, but the bite's actually fixing to probably start turning on, but we got places we gotta be this afternoon. But we Dang did manage it. to get a pretty good score of fish down in our cooler. Oh yeah. Show us the catch, big boss. We got a, we got a string. We got a string. Oh baby. They're all just really nice size. Just a bunch of really nice slab crappie. I think we had 15 on there. Mm -hmm. So not as many as last time, but we were out here at the worst time of the day. Yeah. 
if we were here in the morning or afternoon or if it was cloudy or if it was cloudy yeah. we could have probably done some more damage but that's definitely a good string i'll take it well that was crazy got him got him he's coming in it's big and there's another one they are fired up guys i have got a monster There we go. Oh, he came off. No, he's still there. What is this? What is this? Feels good. Is it a crappie? All right, snag something. It feels nice. Oh, it's a crappie. He has snagged a little bit, but we got him. He's on there. And he's coming in here. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. That's a big one. That's a tank. That's a tank. Oh, it felt weird. Came right underneath his chin and got him. All right, look at that one. That'll work out here, guys. That is a slab white crappie. Bit that show enough top jig. Bit the top jig. That's a big one. Throw them in our bucket. All right. I felt it was weird. I felt the thump, and then I felt something weird, and then I, I almost feel like a different fish bit it, or maybe he bit it and spit it out, and then I snagged him on the hook set i don't really know there was a lot going on in that little moment but um we got him there we go fish on oh nice yellow bass nice yellow bass down there hanging out same spot as that big crappie we just caught he's flared up oh all right i'll take it i'll take any action it's a cold day, it's windy, and I'm just here to get some bites. I'm here to catch some fish. I don't care what they are. I prefer for them to be big crappie like that one we just caught, but I don't care what we catch. Well, that was crazy. <laughs> Jeez. I'm glad it wasn't deep. That's why you never give up, guys. Sheesh. Well, just about everything that could possibly go wrong on this uh, creek mission has. I mean, obviously, I just, uh, I mean, I was this close to being in a really bad situation. But luckily, I had good footing. I was able to get a good jump. And uh, I didn't full on flip and jack myself up, but I did lose my seat and I can't find it. And also my anchor snapped whenever I smashed the bank. That was just crazy. That happened so fast, but luckily we're all right. Only thing that's wet is uh, our ankles, camera gear is all good, phone's good, didn't lose no keys or nothing. Like we're, we're solid. Um, but now we're having to improvise. So I don't want to just like give up and just go in. Oh, we got. Oh, I got bit. So what I've done is I've got the front of the kayak beached behind me. It's right there. It's kind of on some roots, and uh, we're in a pretty good position. I got the wind at my back, so I can actually cast and kind of feel what I'm doing. And um, we're gonna see if we can't get us some slabs. We caught that one right after we um, had our little issue. Oh my gosh, I got smoked again, I think. Something weird's happening, but I swapped poles. I made another cast with my other pole. I got hung up and lost all my crap. And um, I can't find my cutters. I had some cutters in here, but I'm not sure if, I think they were on the seat. 
pretty sure I had them attached to the seat. And then, so they're with the seat somewhere. <laughs> they're with the seat at the bottom of the lake. There's one. Did that bite is so light. That's like a decent fish, actually. He's running right at us. What's he on? He's on the bottom. Is that a crappie? He's on the panorama, baby. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. That's a nice one. He didn't even fight that hard. I'm also just not used to this pole. Look at that, guys. That is a nice one. And look at the bait. Isn't that a cool little bait? I don't know how I felt about it. I knew that it looked good. It was kind of hard to rig up because it's so thin. But it swims through the water pretty good. It doesn't really have a whole lot of action. But it looks just like a little baby shad. I mean, there is not another bait that looks like a shad like that one. And that crappie fell for it. That's a good one. Let's get him in the bucket. There's a couple of our other ones down in there. I want to cast back over there where I caught that fish at. I must let, let the wind kind of change its course of direction. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. When I first came out here, I felt like I was overdressed. I was kind of feeling a little sweaty, especially after paddling. But I'm glad that I got these layers on now because they're kind of keeping me out here. <laughs> my, I am wet. We're not in too bad a shape. But I feel a little tense. I feel a little tent, more tense than I normally do. Normally I ain't got no worries, ain't got no care in the world, but I'm just a little tense. I need a couple more slabs to loosen me up some. Oh, that's a fishy bit on the fall. That's a good one. Oh, there's a soft shell turtle too. Yo, he bit it on the fall. Which one's he on? Which one's he on? He feels good. If it's a crappie, it's a nice crappie. Almost feels like a drum though. Please be a crappie. Please don't come off. This rod is a lot more light and finesse than the one I normally throw. The one I've been throwing. Oh, it's a nice crappie. He's on the bottom too. He's on the bottom. I'm a boat flipping. No, I'm not. He's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. I'm gonna put him on the bank. Beach him. Nice. I honestly don't think he's bigger than the last one. I think he's a little bit smaller, honestly. Look at that. Another nice crappie on that little shad panorama. Bit it on the fall. That's so cool. It takes a lot for me to get excited about new baits. I mean, I'm always excited about new baits, but most of the time I'm just like, eh. There's already something out there that's really good. But I like this thing. It's definitely something these fish have never seen before. And we know they love that crappie magnet. You know, you put anything that looks like a shad in front of a crappie, they're going to eat it. But sometimes that little extra realistic look is all it takes to trigger them. There's one. There's one. Thing barely touched it. They're biting it so light. He's on the bottom one too. They love the panorama out here. I knew they would. I knew they'd love that bait out here. That's a big one. How did that thing... That's a nice one. He barely touched it. Golly, he loved it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just threw my rod in the water. Look at the size of that one, guys. That's stud. That's like a 14 or 14 and a half inch fish. Oh my gosh, he barely even fit this little gap in this little bucket. Got him. Got him. He's coming in. It's big and it's a big, big and it's a big and. He's running. He's running. We ain't losing this one. We ain't losing this one. This is a stud. This is a nice one. He's on that bottom jig. If we lose him, it's going to be right here because I'm boat flipping him. Yeah. Blank crappie. All oh, the other ones we caught up in here have been white crappie. Now I'm hooked. There we go. Not bad. First black crappie out here in this spot. Still a good keeper. Some of the ones we caught a minute ago, man, they were, make this guy look kind of small. But he's a good one. He's probably pushing 12 inches. Give him 11 and three quarters. And he bit right there. Hopefully he's got some buddies. 
That's the same area where I just lost that good one, so maybe they've shifted to right there on me. Got you. Oh my gosh, he feels big. He feels big. This is so much fun. I was having a terrible time. <laughs> now we're having a good time. We're having lots of fun now. Having lots and lots and lots of fun now. Top jig, bottom jig. Oh man, he feels, he feels really nice. He's on the top jig. Oh yeah, he barely hooked. He could come off at any second, but he didn't. He chose to stay on. Whew, that deadly one-two combo right there. Cause I mean, to me guys, that's the deadliest bait in crappie fishing right now. Just a simple crappie magnet. And uh, that fish explains why. That's a, that's a stud white crappie. But I'm really loving that panorama. It definitely complements it, especially on the double jig rig. That little thing looks nice. But that guy did my man dirty. There we go. Smoked it on the fall. That ain't no shad. That's a crappie. That's a crappie. That's a good one. I love when they bite it on the fall. It means they're hungry. It means they're agitated. How big is he? Oh, it's a stud. Another stud. Up here. Yes. Boom. Another panorama fish. Hooked right where you want it. Did it on the fall. That's another nice one. So nice. Look at him, he's mad. Look how big their mouths are. My crappie have huge mouths. Oh, oh baby. Is that a fish? That is a fish. Please be a crappie. Please not be a snag shad. Please be a big old donkey slab. Don't be a drum. Just be a big slab. Come on up. Come on up. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's fighting. It's not a shad. It's not a shad. He's not fighting like a crappie at all, but he could be just big. It could be a drum too, though. Don't be a drum. It's got. It's probably a drum. Oh, it's a big crappie. Oh, he bit that panorama. Oh gosh, he looks like running. It's a big, it's a big, big one. Oh, oh he kind of speared himself. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. I hooked outside the mouth somehow, but we'll take it. <laughs> That's the biggest of the day, fellas. That might be a two pounder. Hello. I like panoramas. Definitely wanted it. I lifted up and he was just, no, he was just there. That's a stud. That thing is so big. All right, let's get another one. I got him. Why is my drag so loose? I don't even know what this is. It's a little crappie? No, it's a yellow bass. No, it's a crappie? No, it's a shad. What the heck? I got a shad. <laughs> shad on a shad, a little cannibal. He's hooked inside the mouth. That shad is hooked inside the mouth. I don't know if he ate that or not, but can't say that he didn't. Caught a shad on the panorama it's official oh i should have mm, i should have rubbed some of that shad slime on the bait i need to try to get this bait situated he's a little a little janky so if i can get him fixed i've got some other colors but honestly i think this one's the best one for the color of the water we have right now this one's the brightest it's got some more of that just solid white on there the water is pretty stained
There's a fish. I think I got another drum. Nope, it's a crappie. I'm an idiot. <laughs> and he is on the magnet. It's a stud. Another stud on the magnet. I think it's like a torpedo. I was just shaking it and it was just heavy. I didn't feel the bite. Usually that's whenever it's a drum. Just another solid white crappie. That's a nice one. Okay, so we've got a new system. We've got the eye hole uh, jig head. It has a small little bait keeper collar, so it slides on there pretty good. And I've got it on there pretty straight. I think I had this one on the straightest out of all the jigs. And this is also that football head style, so it should swim really straight, even though if it's a little bit off-centered. And then I've got the slide bites in there. Almost guaranteed the next fish is going to be on that one. They ain't going to be able to resist that. I got a fish. I got a fish. Come up to the top and be a crappie. Don't be a drum. Come up to the top and be a crappie. Come on up, baby. Don't be a drum. Oh, it's a crappie. And it's on the magnet. <laughs> All that work. Getting the other one set up and they bite the top jig. Just like a slab crappie to do some dumb stuff like that. But we'll take it. I'm telling you guys, this is oh my bait was messed up. That might have been why. Or he could just he could have just preferred that. I mean that is just hard for a crappie to pass up. Those little dancing, little tantalizing tails on a little twitch twitch. That's a good one. That's a hog. I actually really like that little uh that cover. I've had this cover just sitting on a shelf in my house for <laughs> I feel like a couple of years now. One of y'all sent it to us. I don't know if you still watch the channel or not, but we're finally using it. Keeping crappie, crappie from jumping out, keeping from splashing me too much. And honestly, had I flipped, or if I do flip, um, it might keep the fish from getting away. He smoked it. That's a crappie. That's a nice crappie. Hammered it. Come on up, big guy. Come on up and show me that you're a crappie and not a drum. Oh yeah. On the top jig. Crazy guy. It was a big one. On the top jig. Woo. Alright, look at that. Maybe they're on that they're on that pink head now. I don't know. And that bottom jig looks good, but they like that crop magnet just a little bit better. The last two have. Beautiful fish. I'm fired up. This is fun. This is a great time. Considering we almost well we did jump in. We didn't flip, but we did have to jump in and I'm just so glad that it was knee deep and not nipple deep because we would have been going home <laughs> and I did not want to go home he came back for it or I snagged something that might be a drum boy nope 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 it's a crappie it's a nice one on that magnet too guys Whew, that's a good one Thought I had one, set the hook, missed. Dropped the bait back down, shook it. We had another one. That's another beauty. Big, beautiful white crappie. Bucket is getting full. You start off feeling small, but you started now you're feeling a little bit bigger. Not bad. Always on the bottom jig. I knew they would bite that thing. I knew they'd come back around and bite that thing. There you go. Not as super slabby as the last ones, but still a fire one. Didn't jack the jig up. Great keeper. Great keeper. Knock slack in it. Just 
Uh oh, my battery's got 1%. I gotta land him for the phone. Oh, I gotta land him for the phone. I gotta land him for the camera dies. Oh, it's another one on the bottom jig. Big in. Big in. Big one. In the boat. Just in time. Camera literally has 1% battery. <laughs> another super solid panorama fish right there, guys. I mean, all these fish, I mean, the majority of these fish are over 13 inches. There's another one. They are fired up right now, guys. That's kind of the beauty of sitting in one spot for a while is that you can kind of, it can kind of be slow for a little bit and then you'll have a school swim through. And a school definitely swam through and he is definitely on that cropping bag now. Looks like he took pretty good. Yep. Bottom lifting. That's another big one. You gotta get them while they're biting. Sometimes they come up in here and it's like fish don't even exist out here. And then sometimes they come up in here and they doing this. But this is the best that I've been on them in a long time. Boom! <laughs> That one's a little bit closer to the boat. Guys, I'm gonna need a bigger bucket. Oh, it's another slab. Panorama fish. It's like they're alternating now. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a stud. Gosh dang, it's a big one. Look at the mouth on that thing. <laughs> that panorama is just dangling. He smacked it. Is that another one? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, guys. I bet you that one's a drum. I bet you that one's a drum. I hope it's not. It is not a drum. It's a nice, thick, healthy crappie on the crappie magnet. I told you, they're alternating. alternating. I've never seen these slabs this fired up. I mean, it was slow and steady and now it's just it's just it's just crazy it's unreal every cast guys it's nuts at least it's that way right now i don't know where they came from i don't know what they're doing if I know they're biting. And we getting them. We getting them while the getting's good. Another keeper. They're all keepers. They're all big. They are all just big, healthy, white crappie. We've caught, we caught one black crappie and all of them have been white crappie. That bottom jig is pretty jacked up. And the last, I think it's the last three have been on the top. So we may have to grab ourselves another one of the panoramas. Or maybe even just double back up on the crappie magnet. I don't know. I don't even care. Oh, snap. Around that time, y'all hear, hear that wind? Y'all hear how hard it's blowing? <laughs> It has not stopped. It has just changed directions on me. We got ourselves another big crappie on the bottom jig. I mean, that's a really nice one. That is a, that might be our biggest. Risky for the biscuit. Oh yeah, big one. Gobbled it. Maybe not as long as some of the other ones, but just thick. And look at that. Choked. And barely hooked. I probably shouldn't have boat flipped that one. <laughs> Actually, I probably should have. If I would have given him any sort of slack at all, he would have probably got off. Another big, thick, white crappie. My bucket is full. I'm using the little the little lid thing as like extra roof ceiling clearance. But I legit don't think I can fit, but maybe four or five more of them things in there. And this is really good because we were running out of fish. 
we um we had some crappie but then we gave away a bunch of it for christmas and i haven't really been on them so this is nice we're restocking up and we've got just i mean all those fish in there are so quality they're gonna they're gonna feed us for a long time It's so subtle. It's so subtle. And they're all so big. Insane. Insanity. It's chaos in the creek. Panorama. I think it's been it's been pretty equal. They've been eating half I feel like it's been half and half. Maybe a slight edge to the panorama today. Now you say never seen nothing like it. That's a special little bait. There's another one. It's been eight minutes since I've had a bite. And it seemed like a long time considering how good they were biting, but that's okay. I honestly don't even know if this is a crappie or not. He's swimming a little too much. Oh, it's a crappie. It's old Greenback. And he's got some stripes. Pretty good one. Another nice little donk. Little donk slab. Pinned him right in the top of the mouth. Whew. Had a little bit of a dry spell, guys. I was getting worried. But honestly, guys, I'm probably about to call it because you can't tell exactly because of the thing, but like my bucket is full because they're all so big. I know normally it takes about 35 keepers to fill a five gallon bucket, but that's kind of like, you know, catching some, some 10 inch or, you know, a lot of smaller ones. Those, none of those are 10 inches. My smallest one in there might be an 11, but there's only a couple of them. All the rest of them are 12 and a half up to 15. It's unreal. It's been a magical day. It's been a roller coaster of a day, but it's been a good one. Is this a crappie? I think it is. I know I had I had a, I had a I had snag for a second. He shook off. I think that a crappie came up and got it. Let's find out. Oh my gosh, it's a big crappie. Big crappie. Oh. oh he's broke my line too. Oh. Oh man, that's another nice one. That's another big daddy one. Big old slab crappie. He ate. Panorama. I hold jig with slab bites. That's a deadly little combination right there. I had just hit a shad, pretty sure, snapped it away, and he bit it kind of on the fall. What a big fish. I mean, that is just thickness. I don't think the camera does him justice. These are solid fish, guys. Guys? I have got a monster. I have got a monster fish. This is the monster fish that I had out here that one time, I think. I don't know how I'm gonna land it, but I've got him right here. It is a big fish. I think he ate my bait. Oh my gosh, he ate it. Oh my gosh, it's a giant. Oh my gosh, it's a giant. On an ultralight and four pound test, look at this thing. If I can land this thing, this is how I'm ending it right here, guys. This thing is a giant. And he is wore out, too. Oh, it's a giant. Oh my gosh. It is so big. He ate that thing. He ate that jig. He ate the crappie magnet. 
Oh, it's a giant buffalo. It's so big. He munched it. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, it's a big old buffalo. I think it's so fat. And God, oh, it's in my finger. No, 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 don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Oh gosh. Just splash me. I think he broke me. I got it. This thing's a little dirty, but look at how big this thing is. He's probably 30. Five-ish pounds. Remember those black drum we caught in Florida? Oh, he's huge. He's huge. He came right on in too. I'm gonna give him a little wash. I can't even get a hold of this thing. He's so big. <laughs> it's a dang beluga whale. So in that video a couple months ago we were out here fishing. I had one of these on the line I think and uh, he towed us around forever and ever and got off. Finally got my redemption. What a giant big old buffalo on the crappie magnet and he ate it and he sucked it in. <sighs> what a way to end the day guys. We caught so many crappie. We got a whole bucket full of crappie and then we got a big old buffalo. We're gonna send him back. He is, oh my gosh, he's a brick. Just so massive. Just so massive. <sighs> he is just so massive. Okay. Okay. <sighs> That was crazy. And if I wasn't cold and wet and stinky already, I definitely am now. Look at this. Guys, what a crazy afternoon. Um, it's getting late. I'm gonna try to load myself up and I'm gonna try to get back safely to where I have my truck parked. Gonna load everything up and uh, keep these fish on ice, get back to the house. We'll see you guys when we get there. Y'all look at this absolute pile of slabs and that's not even all of them that's just all i could fit on the pile i've got maybe like i guess i got like four or five more in the cooler but i was afraid of toppling the whole thing but that is just insane what an afternoon of fishing we had out there yesterday these guys were on ice all night and we are ready to clean them up that is just absolutely insane to me i did not expect to go in there and catch them i thought maybe i could maybe catch a couple of good slabs but you know given you know how our afternoon went you know me almost flipping and having to jump into the lake and losing my seat and anchor and out there in the cold i mean we 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 messed them up and i am uh, you know it's gonna take a little bit to clean them all but i am excited about it because we're gonna have some great fillets to last us for the next little bit and that means we won't have to keep near as many fish in the future just if we want to have some fresh that day but this is a great uh this is gonna be great this is gonna be great for the whole family we'll be able to feed a lot of people and we're gonna get to cleaning them up it should Probably gonna take us maybe half an hour to do it, but I'll happily do it. That's exciting. We had an amazing day fishing in the creek, caught so many good slabs. It took a while to get them all cleaned up, but we went all out for lunch today. We've got some delicious looking fish tacos. Like I said, we went all out. We've got the fish, we've got some avocado, we've got some green and red sauce, we've got cilantro, we got some other seasonings on there. And I bet they're going to be scrumptious. We even got them in the lime shells. Always squeeze some lime on them. Sometimes when we make fish tacos, we don't have all the ingredients on hand, but today we did. We had to make it special, because like I said, we worked hard for those fish and now we're gonna reap the reward from all that. This side looks a little, little limp. Let's do this other side. Going in for the official taste test. Guys, if you're not already on the fish taco train, I highly suggest you do it to it today. If you have some fish in your freezer, thaw them out, cook them just like I did today. All I use is regular taco season that you would use on your normal like beef or chicken tacos. It is so, so good. You can pile them up with whatever you want but it's just a great way to cook fish if you're somebody that only cooks them you know by frying them or it's in a skillet man that is spectacular but with that 
We're gonna take it easy the rest of the afternoon, enjoy the tacos, hang out with the fam. If y'all enjoyed the video and you'd like to see us go back out there and try to catch some more of those crappie while they're stacked up, let us know down in the comment section. And also, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.